We're learning more about Alabama's infant mortality rates. New funding is being provided to help. That's right, and our Anaya Sprags has more now on a joint effort to address the problem. The latest CDC infant mortality report shows Alabama's rates are among the highest in the nation. When looking at the data, one thing stood out. Only 11 counties in the entire state, including Monroe and Washington counties, have a 0.0, .0 infant mortality rate. Carolyn Miller, the director of Alabama's perinatal division, says their low rates are due to population size and fewer births. In Washington, there were only 185 births. And in Monroe, there were 240, whereas in Mobile, there's 5,096 births. So that has to do, you know, when you look at the map on the infant mortality report, those very small counties are the ones that have no deaths because there's so few births. Miller highlights initiatives that have made a difference, such as the Cribs for Kids program, which provides safe spaces for infants to sleep. In Mobile, this fiscal year, which ends at the end of September, uh, over the year, we gave out 190 cribs just in Mobile alone. Monroe had 18, Washington had seven. Statewide, we have given over 1,200 cribs across the state, and we're hoping that makes a difference. Maternal health is also a priority with Alabama collaborating with other states. Our last report, over 60% of those maternal deaths were preventable. We're working with 12 other states in looking at maternal health and access to prenatal care. The state's Well Woman program aims to help as well by focusing on health issues in rural areas where access to care can be limited. While the program is currently small, Alabama is looking to expand it. Their efforts are getting a boost with new funding from the CDC. The agency announced Tuesday that it will provide nearly $3 million over five years to expand the state's maternal mortality review committee. Anaya Sprags, Fox 10 News.